The Lunar New Year Parade is a LEGO set that I was sent from LEGO for Masters of Brick Jitsu, so I want to give a massive thanks to both for this opportunity, and let's get started. Now you're probably expecting a review on this set, but you'd be wrong because that would be way too predictable, and the set was also released about 9 months ago, so I'd be a bit late to the parade. Ah, ah, he said it, he said it. So this set is pretty amazing on its own, but it could be better. The key is the minifigures, and this set has 18 of them. However, they are unnamed characters. Now with any LEGO set, you have the ability to mix and match any elements from one set to another, therefore giving the builder complete freedom to have whichever characters they want interacting with each other from any other theme. So I had the thought to merge together this Chinese New Year set with Monkey Kid. Now when you think of doing this, I'm sure a lot of builders would try to create a mock where they disregard the instructions in the set and build something totally different and unique. This definitely does sound intriguing, however I can't mock build because I am incapable of not following the instructions. I'm literally just Emmett from the Lyco movie if he never ended up becoming a master builder. Just look at the one time I attempted a mock on MOB, to say the least it did not not turn out as well as I could have hoped. I think I struggled with coming up with a more unique design. I tried to make somewhat of a dragon turret, but I think it turned into more of a dragon abomination. Yes, an abomination indeed. Anyway, this time around, I'm not going to make the same mistake. I'm going to play to my strength, so I laid out my grand plan, and I don't want to brag, but I think it's genius. Now, to carry out this plan, I had to be strategic and cunning. Imagine Mission Impossible, but Tom Cruise never leaves his house, and instead he plays with Lego. Now, that is cinema. Now, the first step here is to build the set, and oh wow. Now, look at this, I've already done it. I'm like the Flash if he never left the house and only built Lego sets. Anyway, the second step is to take those minifigures from the set and separate them into categories. Firstly, we've got the civilians. Hope nothing bad happens to them. Next up, we have the flag holders. Hope nothing bad. Now the teal team performers. Hope nothing. And finally, these remaining characters here. I'm sorry, I ran out of clever names. But anyway, I hope nothing bad happens. Uh, oh wait, sorry, I'm getting a phone call. Do it. Are you sure? Execute order 66. I'm sorry, little one. Well, now that I've wiped out the minifigure population, let's take a look at some of my Monkey Kid figures and merge them into the set. You may have noticed that this Chinese New Year set is in the theme of Year of the Rabbit, therefore a perfect minifigure to add is Chong E, and she requires no changes because she is already dressed for the occasion, however for some of these other characters, we're going to mix and match a bit to make some wacky combinations. There are so many different and unique combinations that you can do and still have leftover minifigures from the parade. And for the others, I will simply leave them as is because they'll still look cool alongside the set. And now for the grand reveal of my ultimate creation. Wow, look at how cool this is. As you can see in conclusion, adding more minifigures to a set makes it look even cooler and also takes up more surface area. Who would have guessed? Well, that's gonna be it for the video. If you enjoyed, be sure to leave it a like and subscribe as well if you want to see more content from MOB. Thanks so much for watching and always remember to keep on collecting!